So today I'm going to be talking about the ingredient talc, talcum, talcum powder, and what kind of its effect is and what its use is in products. In lots and lots of products, it is oftentimes the first ingredient. I have like two different products really that I'm going to focus on. Actually, three. I'm going to talk about the Hello Flawless um, face powder by Benefit with the SPF 15. This is an I Love Me Ivory. I also have the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. Talc in products is used as an absorbent. It absorbs oil, it absorbs moisture, so products that contain talc um, will help to absorb any oil that's going to be on your skin. Comes off in photos as kind of a white sheen, tends to be kind of opaque, can usually come up as not so flattering in photos. Talc can also be easily combined with other mineral pigments to create the color of the product that you're using as well as mixed in with things like titanium dioxide and zinc oxide to create a sunscreen. Talc comes from a mineral that is naturally occurring and found in the earth. Talc can, is used in all kinds of things, baby powder and um, kind of anti-rash powders that you can put on to prevent itching because it absorbs that moisture that could accumulate and cause the itching sensation for a rash, so it's also used in products like that. So the issue with talc is not really the talc itself. Seeing talc alone in a product isn't necessarily a reason to be worried, but it is kind of a reason to be suspicious. The way that talc naturally occurs in the earth it is oftentimes contaminated with asbestos. Makeup brands go through great lengths to grind down this talc into a powder and to purify it to make sure that it does not contain asbestos. But it, it should be noted that talc that is contaminated with asbestos that is ground to a powder without the asbestos removed, if inhaled in powder form, could absolutely cause cancer. Asbestos free talc, that's what it's called anyway, is what is used in cosmetics. Talc that contains asbestos absolutely can cause cancer. The evidence about whether or not asbestos free talc is a carcinogen is a little bit unknown. From the American Cancer Society I was reading about some research that they had done with talc, asbestos free talc, and the studies have mixed results. There has been some risk sometimes displayed between talc powder and ovarian cancer, typically only when the powder is applied kind of in heavy amounts in the genital areas. It doesn't seem to pose a significant health risk, at least from what we know right now, unless it is contaminated with asbestos. So how do we know whether or not the cosmetics have asbestos in the talc? Given as talc is the first ingredient in this product, it is the first ingredient in this product. The FDA did a study in 2008 to see whether or not cosmetic brands had contaminated asbestos contaminated talc in their product. Basically they contacted nine different suppliers of talc to these makeup brands. Asked them, hey can we test your talc and see if it is contaminated by asbestos. Of the nine that they contacted, only four of them responded and said yes you can you can check. Of the four that did respond all of them were asbestos free. So, the thing with that is that it's not a good representation. If you've ever taken a statistics class, you will know that a voluntary response survey, when you send out a survey to a bunch of people and only the people that respond contribute to the statistic, it's super biased. It would never be accepted as like a viable study. The fact that only four out of the nine responded is a little bit strange to me. I'd like to know why the other five didn't want their product tested. So that is something to consider. The FDA does have listed a bunch of the brands and the products that they, they did test. And on that list, you can find this on the FDA website, fda.gov slash cosmetics. One of the products that they did test for asbestos contaminated talc is this Hello Flawless Benefit face product with the um, SPF 15. And this was one of the ones found to be asbestos free talc. If you are looking for a product that you can say, hey, this has talc, but it definitely does not have asbestos, here you go. There are a couple other brands on here that are really popular. I know they tested one of Urban Decay's uh, bronzers. 
They did some of the NARS blushes, they did the Laura Mercier foundation powder. It says NAD, which is no asbestos detected. You know, from, from what we know at least, the research in this basically small sample of cosmetics that were collected shows that there was no contaminated talc in the products. Take it as you will, because only four out of the nine suppliers ended up responding. Lots and lots and lots of powdered products, eyeshadows, blushes, bronzers, foundations do have talc as the first ingredient. And so it's just something to be aware of, you know, you, you don't know where they're getting this talc supplied from. But honestly, I mean, you're going to find the most other thing. Here is Benefit's Dallas Blush. First ingredient is talc. And the ingredients for the Naked Palette on here. No, I would have to go look somewhere. Here's MAC Manila's Skin Finish. Also, the ingredients aren't on here. Glorious. But I, 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 I don't doubt that the first ingredient in here is also talc. The way that most people get mesothelioma from asbestos is when you inhale the fibers. If you talc in like a liquid product, that's a little bit better because at least then these little fibers aren't flying around and you inhale them. If you're looking for a product that is powdered that does not have talc, the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation does not have talc. And that's awesome because this I do put all over my face and it's just good to minimize risk when you can. If you want, if you don't want to and you don't care about the risk, that is totally fine. The Balm is another awesome cosmetic brand that has lots of talc-free face powders, so you can check that out. There are going to be products, undoubtedly, that are going to contain talc, like the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzing Powder. Just use things at your own risk. There is talc in here. Guess what? I am still going to use this product. I, you have to pick and choose your battles. I would just urge brands like this to release some information. Hey, we tested our talc and guess what, it's asbestos free. That would be a really great thing that brands could do just like they get to, you know, advertise cruelty free cosmetics, which is awesome. Add it to the list. We tested our talc and it is asbestos free. I would encourage brands to do something like that. It would be really great for consumers to know. Okay, so that's about it. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you again. Bye.